What's quite funny is there might be complete opposite ends of the spectrum with me. I think when you meet me day to day, I'm normally quite approachable, but turn into competition mode and I'm quite steely on the runway and I think I can be quite frightening. <laughs> It's quite surreal thinking back on it now, winning my gold in Doha. There are so many like fond memories from it and feelings from actually throwing the javelin, which are really nice to revisit. It's definitely one uh, to remember for what it was in terms of like the way I won it, the fact that it was a gold medal, and of course uh, the, the throw itself just felt incredible. It, it felt so so easy and I always describe it as a, there's finesse in what we do and it felt like poetry in motion. It's really quite humbling to be recognised as a clutch performer or a clutch thrower. I think it's nice to have that in your back pocket to pull out. And for me, it's less about trying to get the distance on the board, but more about it's one more opportunity to show what I can do with the javelin. I've always, always been one to try and get the most out of my throws and the most out of my experiences in competition. And I think I just let go of everything else. All the training comes together and I just do the event. I just throw the javelin, which is, again, I love the sport, so I'll just let that emotion take over. I'm definitely looking to add another medal or a couple of medals to the collection this year. I guess I want to be remembered as one of the best javelin throwers and to keep performing on the world stage in these major championships, I feel like I can solidify my space. So I'm going to keep coming out and keep fighting for those medals.